Isn't it a wonderful night, Snowy? Well, yes, it is a little hot. Hmm, that's strange. I've never noticed that star before. I smell a story here. Come on, Snowy. Hello, Observatory? I'm calling about a... No, 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 it's impossible. Hello? Hello? A they hung up. Judgment. A judgment, yay! Uh, excuse me. A judgment, whoa! Hello? What? That must be the main telescope. Wow! No, no, no. It is impossible. There must be a mistake. Excuse me. Excuse me. The refraction in the fifth quadrant is clearly 10 to the fifth power, following a negative target across the cosine curve. Ah, where's the matrix chart? We should be focusing on the intensity back to beyond the new So 10, multiplied by the last three digits of the first three negative sums in a second of radiosity. I wonder if... Phew, I thought so. It's okay! It was only a... Sir, please. Professor, you must have made a mistake. I have not made a mistake. My calculations are correct. Oh dear, oh dear. Is something wrong? Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, sir? Have a look. What is it? I, Decimus Fossil, have discovered a gigantic mass of matter in fusion. A flaming meteorite is heading straight for the Earth. Huh? It's the end of the world. <laughs> At precisely 0800 hours. Judgment is upon us! Repent! The end of the world is at hand! The end of the world? Hey! Yuck! Snowy! Poor Snowy. You're stuck in the melted tar. Come on, we'll... <gasps> They're absolutely panic-stricken. Ah! The tires are bursting from the heat. What next? Judgment! Judgment is upon us! You! There will be famine and pestilence and measles! Look here, why don't you go home to bed? 
Sit down and look what I brought you. Behold the judgment! No! 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 Leave me alone! Huh? I must have been dreaming. It wasn't the end of the world. We're alive! Snowy, it was only an earthquake! Let's get to the observatory, Snowy. The scientists made a mistake! Professor Fossil? Professor Fo- Oh! You bungling imbecile! Out, out, out! How dare you call yourself a scientist? Did he do something wrong? He made a mistake on the figures. All my calculations were wrong. But something happened out there. Oh, only a small piece of the meteorite hit us. The rest passed by. What a disappointment. Professor, I have the spectroscope of the meteorite. Oh, <gasps> but... This is incredible! I have never seen such a formation before. I have discovered a new metal. Congratulations, Professor. May I suggest the name? Fossil Light? You may. Let's celebrate. Order 10 pounds of jelly beans. Do you know where the meteorite landed? It was tracked to the Arctic Ocean. Arctic Ocean? We'll never find it now. But if it was big enough, maybe part of it is sticking up out of the water. Do you think so? You could form an international expedition. We could get funding from the International Scientific Society. Oh, we're going to the Arctic. We're going to the Arctic. And as the Aurora prepares to sail in search of the meteorite that hit the Earth last month, Let's have a few words with Professor Fossil, the leader of the expedition. We would like to thank the various governments who agreed to help fund our research. Professor, would you be kind enough to introduce your team? Gladly. We have Dr. Otto Schultz of the University of Munich, Professor Paul Cantoneau of Paris, Senor Porfrio Bilero y Calamaris of the University of Salamanca, the distinguished Swedish scholar Björgen Skjold, and the renowned physicist, Senor Dos Santos from Coimbra. Captain Haddock is in command of our research ship, and Tintin will accompany us as a representative of the press. Ah, uh, this is the life, Snowy. I think we should go back inside. We're making good time. We should reach the Arctic Ocean by tomorrow if this weather keeps up. Captain! I think you should see this. Why, those thieving toads, freshwater amphibians? Is something wrong? The Perry set sail from San Rico yesterday. They're trying to beat us to the meteorite. If the Perry wants a race, they've got it. Engine room, increase speed 10 knots. I'll do my best. You know, Captain, there's something strange going on. An expedition like this is very expensive. Every government in the world has helped finance us. So? What are you getting at? Who's financing the Perry? Mr. Director, gentlemen, we're going to be rich. The new metal in the meteorite could be worth millions. We're taking a big financial risk, but I assure you, I have taken precautions. The Aurora will not reach the meteorite. <laughs> Careful, Snowy. You don't want to get washed over, boy! <laughs>
sort of captain sails without lights? And why didn't he use his radio? You'd think that idiot was trying to sink us. Yes, you would. They failed. Those fools. We're back where we started, but I'll get them yet. Tintin, don't you just hate this oh! ice? <laughs> Those maggot-eating grubs trying to sink my ship. Wait till I get my hands on them. <laughs> Blistering typhoon. Ahoy, Captain! Ship sighted off the port side! It's the Perry. They're going to beat us to the meteorite. Not likely. The Aurora's got a fine, strong engine. We'll overtake them this afternoon. What? Captain, we have an emergency. What? I called this meeting, gentlemen, because at approximately 0800 hours, the Aurora received an SOS signal. If we move to answer the distress call, the Perry will beat us to the meteorite. There are people on that ship. Their lives are in danger. There's no question about it, Captain. We must go to their aid. Oh, yes, agreed. All hands topside. Rudder starboard left. This SOS doesn't name the ship. We managed to get V-I-L, but then we lost radio contact. Hmm. Another unidentified ship, huh? This is the research ship Aurora to the shipping registry office. We hear you, Aurora. Go ahead. We'd like a location check on all ships beginning with the initials V-I-L. Over. Captain, I've called everyone, and I've learned there are no ships whose name starts with the letters V-I-L operating anywhere near these waters. The SOS was a fake! Blistering barnacles! Engine room, increase speed! What? Who would pull such a crazy stunt? The people financing the Perry. By getting us to turn around, they've won the race. Captain, we've just intercepted a message from the Perry. They have the media right in sight. We still have a chance, Captain. We've got the seaplane. Good luck, Tintin. from the Aurora. No, wait. They just launched a boat. They're just lowering a boat.
it here! Take this food! Goodbye! Snowy, let's take a look around. What is that? from that apple I threw away. The meteorite is causing this. It's affecting the growth of everything on this island. Whoa! That's the last straw. Great snakes! Run, Snowy! a piece of the meteorite. Look out! This just in, the research ship Aurora has returned from their successful meteorite expedition. And in related news, the police have just announced they'll be laying charges against the San Rico Bank for sabotage and fraud. Back on the Aurora, pieces of the mysterious and powerful meteorite are now in the hands of a grateful scientific community. Thanks to Captain Haddock and Tintin.